to preach in the book of Luke. Luke chapter 24. Luke chapter 24 from verse Okay. Luke chapter 24 from verse from verse 28. And they drew nigh unto the village, whither they went, and he made as though he would have gone further. But they constrained him, saying, Abide with us, for it is towards evening, and the day is fast spent. And he went in to tarry with them. Now, this was Jesus after his resurrection. Now, he went to his disciples. But he, he was not really showing himself as Jesus. He was just trying to journey with them, disguising so that they would not know he's the one. Now, verse 30, And it came to pass, as he sat at meat with them, he took bread and blessed it. Please note that Jesus did not reveal his identity. He didn't tell them, I'm Jesus. So he was just in, in the midst of his disciples, flowing with them just like a normal person, without disclosing his identity. Now, it came to pass as he sat at meat with them, he took bread and blessed it and break and gave to them. Now, immediately he did this, the Bible says he took bread, one, he blessed it, two, he broke the bread, three, and he gave it to them. Now, the moment he gave this, there are these four things he did, the moment he did it, in verse two, the Bible says, and... In verse 31, the Bible says, And their eyes were opened, and they knew him. And he vanished out of their sight. Now, the moment he took the bread, you know, he blessed it, he broke it, and he gave it to them. Now, the moment he collected the bread, their eyes were opened. Oh, this is Jesus. And the moment they came into that consciousness, Jesus disappeared. Now, verse 32 and they said to one another, Did not our hearts burn within us while he talked with us by the way and while he opened to us the scriptures? Now, my emphasis is, Did not our heart burn within us? Now, there are three things that made the heart of these people to burn here. The first thing is, when Jesus talked with them by the way, then the second thing is, when he opened the scriptures unto them. Now, my question is this, what happens to our heart when we come to the presence of God to listen to his word? Did your heart burn? That's why you can see somebody coming from Bible study and you just leave Bible study and go straight to, to a joint and begin to drink until he or she gets drunk before going home. It will mean that that thing you have listening to did not make your heart to burn one of the functions of you know one of the effects that the word of the lord should produce in our heart is that it must make your heart burn any word you hear that cannot make your heart burn cannot transform your life that's why we have a lot of people in church today they are just coming marking their attendance every sunday but there is no tangible transformation i would like you to know that Transformation of a person starts with the burning of the heart. If your heart cannot burn, if the word of God cannot make your heart burn, then transformation cannot become a reality in your life. When, when was the last time your heart burned? When was the last time you came to church and as you are going home, your heart is burning? You know, with you know, with respect to the word of God you have heard. That word you heard that day made your heart to burn. And you, 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 you left church, you were going home, you were praying in the Holy Ghost. Till you get home, you do not even know when you got home. You were just praying in your spirit because of that word you heard. When was the last time that happened? When was the last time you went to fellowship and you know your spirit was lifted, your heart was very heavy, and you got home, you, you, you went on your knees and you prayed for hours. On the strength of what you heard in fellowship. When was that? When was the last time that happened? The problem we have is there are many people saying a lot of things, but that thing they are saying 
is not powerful enough to make the heart of the people born. One of the things we must trust God to do as a preacher or as a minister of the gospel is that you must trust God to garnish your word with his fire. Because if you don't speak with the fire of God, it will not burn the heart of the people. Cold message to a cold heart. We end up in freezing. It will, it will, it will produce the, the, the effect such a message will produce is freezing. Freezing and cooling. A cold message to a cold heart will not make it burn. It will, it, it, it will rather make it freeze. But when you send a burning message to a cold heart, it will make it burn. Because it will, the first thing it will do is to melt the highs and then make it boil. So and you cannot even preach a burning message if you yourself, the, the preacher, is not a burning preacher. So a burning preacher will preach a burning message. And when that burning message gets to the heart that is cold, it melts it and makes it boil. I pray the Lord gives us grace to be able to make a tangible impact in the life of those that listen to us in the name of Jesus. And as a child of God too, you must be able to access yourself. When was the last time your heart burned in the presence of God? For the word, you know, because of those things you have heard. When was the last time? These are things, these are these are criteria you need to place yourself on. These are measures you must you must take. Many people are not transformed because the word of the Lord is not burning in their hearts. It's not burning in their heart. You, if you can, if you can look back to when you gave your life to Christ, you discover that at that point when you, you know, when you came out, you know, to to identify with Jesus, your heart was heavy. You were willing to follow God, to ignore everything, just to follow Jesus. That's the sign of a heart that is burning. That that experience is not supposed to be for that day alone. It's supposed to be a constant experience. Your heart must burn. Your heart must burn. Any any message you listen to that cannot make your heart burn cannot transform you. You are just wasting your time. I pray the Lord helps us in the name of Jesus.